my name is Sincerely Dree, and in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how I make fried fish in my college dorm. So, this probably won't be the fried fish that you usually see when you get fish from the store, you go to a fish fry or something. I'm not really sure if I've ever seen anybody make fish like this outside, like at a restaurant. I just know this is something that my mom makes a lot at home, or should make a lot, which is why I really love it now that I can make it. And it just tastes amazing. So we're just gonna get right into it. I'm gonna show you guys what you guys need. You actually don't need much of anything for this recipe at all. You're going to need your fish. For this recipe, I use Basa fish, and we usually get it from the farmer's market. And the one that I got was $3.99 per pound, and I was able to get, I believe, six pieces of fish for $7.70. So this is what it looks like. And I got this from my farmer's market as well. The other thing that you need is of course you are going to need your fish fry. Because we're doing this in college, this is another hack you don't want to have to do too much stuff. You don't have to do too much stuff. I know a lot of people don't know how to work with seasonings or what to make, so you want to make everything as easy and simple as possible. So let me just unroll this a little bit more. I just get the Louisiana fish fry products. New Orleans style fish fry seafood breading mix and the one with real lemon added. This is the one that I get. You probably said it was already open and we're just gonna be using the rest today and I'll show you guys how much you need once we start. Then you're also going to need flour. Now flour will be an optional thing. The reason why I use flour is because the regular fish fry breading mix, if you use that by yourself, if you use it by itself, it will be a little bit salty and it's a little bit too salty for me. As you've seen in other videos, I like to get more of my flavor from my sauces because I do use sauces on my meat. So I will be adding flour into the breading mixture for this. And then of course you are going to need your oil, whatever you are frying with, because I don't have a deep fryer or anything here. I do have to use new oil, so that's what I'm going to be using, but you don't need too much at all. So now that you know everything that you need, like literally that's all you need, we're going to get started in the video. So let's get cooking, let's get cooking. Okay y'all, so first things first, we're gonna start breading our fish. So of course you see I have my fish over here. Make sure you wash and clean your fish. So this fish has been washed and I cut my fish in half. You can choose to leave your fish whole or you can cut it even smaller. I just like cutting it in half just for portion side reasons just for me. But you can leave it however you like to eat your fish. So I do that in half, and then whenever I make my fish, I just use half of the mix. So of course, last time I used it, I used half of it, and this time I'll be using the rest of this seasoned mix. And like I said, since this is seasoned, you really don't need to add anything else unless you want to. If you want to add, if, you, if you're somebody who likes more pepper, go ahead and add some pepper if that's what you want. If you're somebody who knows that you want a certain flavor in your fish, go ahead and add that because that's what you can do. This is your meal, you know? And of course they have other types of breading mixes as well, but it's the one that I use. Then, once you have that in here, you kind of have about this much, I'll be adding in a cup of flour. You can choose to add less, you can choose to add more. Like I told you guys earlier, the reason why I add in flour is because it's a little bit salty by itself. Like I already feel like sneezing right now. But since it is a little bit salty, I do like to add a little, a little bit more. But depending on your taste buds and how you like your food to taste, you can add more of flour or you can add less of the flour. But just go by what your nose tells you. Work smarter, not harder, kids. We're in college. So now that everything is mixed, you wanna smell? Okay, now, so once you have gotten your, your flour and your seasoning breading mix mixture together, you just wanna see, smell it, and see if it's to your liking. If it's not to your liking, add more flour. If it's to your liking, you're good, you can stop. So, now that that is done, it's time to start breading our fish. So this is a dry bread. This is not something that you need to add milk, eggs, none of that to. 
So also when you wash your fish, make sure you also pat it dry. You want your fish to be as dry as it can be. Of course, because it's fish, it's going to still keep some moisture, but just make sure it's not soaking wet. So all you wanna do is you wanna get it in to the mixture, bring it up close. I'm gonna get it all in there in every crevice that you can get it into. And then when you're done, you're gonna set it right off to the side. And of course, make sure you wash your hands for this, y'all. Please make sure your hands are washed. Your hands should always be washed before you're cooking food, but especially when you are breading something, you want to make sure your hands are clean and washed. That includes under your fingernails as well, y'all. So this is kind of how you want your fish to be breaded. Nothing too crazy, but it's still fully covered. Okay, y'all, so literally we're just gonna be doing the same thing for the rest of the years. Okay hey, y'all, so now you can see all of our fish is properly breaded. Now we want to start working with our oil and getting our oil hot. So now you're done with your breading and your mixture. You can choose to throw it away or you can choose to save it for next time. I'm probably gonna be throwing this away because I won't be making some for a minute. And of course when I make it, I want it to be fresh. So you can choose whatever you wanna do with yours. I'm gonna throw mine away. I wouldn't suggest Putting it down the sink, you can if you want, but I'm gonna be putting mine in the bag and throwing it away in the trash. So that's what I'm gonna do and then we can get started with the oil. Okay y'all, so now that I have everything pushed out the way and I have my skillet here, I will be putting some oil in. You do not need that much because the oil doesn't need to actually cover the whole fish, but you do need enough to at least, you know, cover the bottom. So, I think that should be pretty good. So the amount of oil that you would need is just a relative to what skillet you are using or what pot you are using or what fryer, deep fryer you're using. But of course I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna set mine to 350 for temperature. Why 350? Honestly, I don't know, but I do bake a lot too and everything goes at 350. Everything cooks at 350. So that's why I'm gonna be doing that. So now you know we have to play the waiting game and wait for the oil to heat up. Okay, y'all, so now that I know that my oil is hot, we're gonna take our fish in. Now, please be careful when you're working with oil. If you do not know how to work with oil, find an adult or someone else who, do, who does know how to work with oil. When you place your fish in, you want to start it in front and push it away from you. I'm probably gonna try to get as much fish in here as I can, but I will show you guys how I do it. Doesn't cause much to it. Try to get in as many as we can. Don't worry about it not fully covering because we are going to flip them. Now that you have your fish in there, you can use whatever you want in order to flip it or pick it up or anything like that. I'll be using tongs because that's one of the things that I have that really makes sense while I'm here at school. And now that your fish is in there, you just want to leave it in there until it starts to get a little brown. A good indicator would be maybe five minutes because just because the outside looks one way, you actually make sure that the inside of your fish is actually cooked. So we're gonna do five minutes on this side. I'm gonna check it, see how it looks, and then we're going to flip it for the other side. I'm one that also goes for color, so even after the five minutes, I may still keep it in there just so I can get a darker color, but you know, you can take it out after 10 minutes as long as it looks that as long as it looks like it's cooked. <laughs> so, I'll check back in with you guys in five minutes. Okay, 
Okay, y'all, so it has been about five minutes. We are loud, we are popping in the kitchen, all of that. So like I said, now you're going with, you can go in with whatever you want to use in order to flip your fish. I have tongs, if you have a fork, use that, whatever works best for you. And all we're going to do is flip it. You see, you have that nice browning on that side. Flip. It's very important that you leave your fish alone at the beginning because you do not want it to break apart. This fish will break apart on you, so you do not want that to happen. This is why you want to just let it sit and cook by itself. Okay, y'all, it's, look, it already has that nice color that I like. So now, on this side, we're gonna do the same exact thing, five minutes, when that is done, we're gonna take it out and put it on some paper towel. But let's wait for five minutes on this side. Okay, y'all, so it's been about another five minutes. At this point, you wanna check the other side of the fish. I checked mine. It is the nice round color that I like to see. And then from there, I'm just gonna put it in this container that has some towel in it, just so it can dry off. The oil can dry off. Of course, if you're at home, you probably wanna put it on a rack with the towel under it. But like I said, we're in college, so we don't have everything. <laughs> but we're gonna do this, and then basically we're gonna do the same exact thing with all the other fish. Make sure you check your fish first to make sure that it is cooked because everybody's temperatures of oil and all that is different. Yeah, so let's just do it again. All right, and we're doing the same exact thing. Five minutes on this side, turn it, five minutes on the other side, and then we are done. Okay, y'all, so it's been about five minutes on this side and they're getting pretty round, so I'm going to turn it. And y'all already know what to do. Five minutes again. Ooh, I'm making what this one looks right now. And five minutes again on the other side. Okay, y'all, so it's been about five minutes again on this side. Y'all, I really like the way these ones look. Cause like I said, I seem to never be able to get the color that my mom gets on hers, but it's always like this nice, rich, golden color. And I don't know, it just, it's just amazing. <laughs> so now that these are out, we are done. Please turn your oil off, especially if you are in college. You are not trying to have no fires, no none of that. Be responsible when you are cooking. <laughs> so turn your fire off, plug it out. Really make sure that everything is off. And what you're going to do from here is you want to let your oil sit and you want it to cool down. If you're in college, let your oil sit and cool down so it's not too hot. Once you cool it down, you could throw it down the sink or if you're like on a, yeah, throw it down the sink with some running water and that should be good. So we're gonna let this sit and I'm going to plate our fish, our nicely fried fish and we're gonna see how it tastes, all of that because y'all, I'm so ready, I'm ready to eat. It smells so good in here right now. Okay y'all, so I put some on a plate. Let me just bring it up close, y'all already know. Oh my gosh, y'all. Oh my gosh. If y'all could see it, if y'all could smell it, you would love it. So I'm just gonna pick one of these up. I'm gonna break it so you guys can see how it kind of looks on the inside, all of that. You see, I got I got four on this plate, okay? I have three more people. I'm like, who gonna come and eat with me? Who gonna come and eat with me? Okay? I'm gonna try to come eat with me. So I'm gonna take one, y'all. So you see there's not a lot of fall, nothing like that because we didn't braid it a whole whole lot. Break it for y'all. Y'all see everything pulling apart. Oh my gosh, y'all. I'm sorry. We should have the ASMR video, y'all. That was crunchy. Yum, this tastes so good. It tastes so good. So that is how you make fried fish. 
You can eat yours with whatever you want to eat with. I like to pair mine with a dipping sauce. I like to use yum yum sauce with mine. It's like what you would get from the, if you were to go to like a hibachi place. I got the big tub of yum yum because I love yum yum all on different things. So I'm gonna be dipping mine in yum yum sauce and I'm also going to be eating mine with brown rice and corn. I don't really know why whenever I have seafood, I feel like corn is the proper vegetable. I don't really know what other vegetables taste good with seafood and with fish, shrimp, all of that. So I'm gonna be doing corn and as my grain, I'm gonna be doing brown rice. And y'all, I am so excited for this. So that's how you make fried fish. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. If you have any other ideas or recommendations of different things that I should try in college, figure out if it is college proof, if you can do it. Just as a disclaimer, you can make things in college, but please know your ability level. Always try things over the summer. That was one thing that I, I decided to do with my mom. I was watching her cook and I was watching videos of other people cook and I tried to do some things over the summer first just to see if I can actually cook it before bringing it to school because you do not want to start any fires. You do not want to do anything crazy and have everybody mad because you was trying to cook some and you burnt it, okay? So that is how you make it. To stay more in contact with me and to see more daily videos, pictures, all that of me. Make sure you follow me on Instagram and all social media platforms at I am Sincerely Dree. I love talking with you guys on there and I also love talking with you guys in the comment section down below. So comment some ideas, comment if you want to comment and I always reply back or I respond. You guys will always see me in the comments. And leave a like if you like this video or if you want to see more videos like this. And remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can see more videos like this and more college and lifestyle videos that I do make. And remember that my name is Sincerely Jerry and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye!